Hi guys, I'm Henry from How To Become and welcome to a new Key Stage 2 history video. This one's called Stone Age to Iron Age. Please click the like button if you enjoy watching the video at any point and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get alerted when I've created a new video. Also, if you would like free access to our Key Stage 2 history online test questions, click the link below the video right now and you can get practicing. Let's get started. The Stone Age and the Paleolithic Era The Stone Age can be split into three main eras, the Paleolithic Era, the Mesolithic Era and the Neolithic Era. You can also call these the Early Stone Age, the Mid Stone Age and the Late Stone Age. The Paleolithic Era, the Early Stone Age, began around 2.5 million years ago and lasted till around 10,000 years ago. Think about how many years that actually is. During this era, the very first humans appeared, although their lives were very simple and they were not exactly like us. They could not farm either and had to rely on hunting and scavenging to survive. The Mesolithic Era, the Midstone Age. The Mesolithic Era began around 10,000 years ago and lasted until around 6,000 years ago. This era is defined by human progress. New tools were invented as well as more advanced hunting and fishing techniques. Humans also learned to settle near the shores of rivers and lakes where they could easily access food and water. The Neolithic Era, the Late Stone Age. The Neolithic Era began around 6,000 years ago and lasted until around 4,500 years ago. During this era, Britain finally became an island due to rising sea levels caused by ice ages ending. Up until this time it had been connected to mainland Europe. Humans made huge progress during this era, inventing new tools for hunting such as the bow and arrow. The first farming techniques also appeared. Societies also developed. People started living in small communities. The Bronze Age. The people in the Bronze Age learned to smelt the soft metals copper and tin together to make a much harder metal, bronze. This hard metal was much more useful. So the Bronze Age represents a lot of progress compared to the Stone Age. Societies continued to develop, communities began to grow and a sense of hierarchy developed once more, which means people having more power than others. Early religious practices also began to appear. Evidence of tribal ceremonies and views of the afterlife have been found. The next age is called the Iron Age. The Iron Age began around 2,800 years ago and ended around the year 43, just over 2,000 years ago. Of course, in this era, humans learned how to produce and work with an even stronger metal, iron, changing their lives massively once again. During this time, humans were good farmers, so the population of Britain grew very quickly. This meant that separate tribes soon faced off against each other in war, in competition for land and resources. The end of the Iron Age came around when the Romans arrived in Britain. OK, now let's do some questions to test what you've learnt so far. Please put your answers in the comments section below to let us know. Question 1. Decide whether the following statement is true or false. The early Stone Age, the Paleolithic era, lasted for close to 2.5 million years. Now is that true or false? Question 2. Why is it a good idea for humans to settle near rivers and lakes? Question 3. Answer the following multiple choice questions by writing down one of the three options. Bronze is made by smelting together. Is it gold and tin? Is it copper and gold? Or is it copper and tin? Put your answers below. Question four. What brought about the end of the Iron Age? Write your answers in the comments again. OK, let's go over the answers to the questions we just looked at. Question 1, the statement that the early Stone Age, 
the Paleolithic era, lasted for close to 2.5 million years, is true. Well done if you put that below. Question 2. Why is it a good idea for humans to settle near rivers and lakes? Let's go over an example response to this question, which could go something like, living close to a water source is a good idea, so you are as close as possible to something as vital as water, and do not have to travel long distances to find it. Also, water sources contain fish and attract animals, so there are hunting opportunities around these areas. Now, if you have an answer similar to this, I'll have a look at it and let you know if you got it right or not. Please have a go. Question 3. Bronze is made by smelting together copper and tin. Well done if you said that. Question 4. What brought about the end of the Iron Age? And the answer is the arrival of the Romans. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And check out the link below if you want free access to our Key Stage 2 History online test questions. See you in the next one.